So, you really are a sword fighter of the apocalypse. Did you ever doubt it? See you there. Hi, I'm Epic Steve. You might remember me from such movies as Sword Fighters at the Apocalypse. Yes, it's me. I wanted to show you a special workout video that I did every day on the set of Sword Fighters at the Apocalypse. Five minutes. Five minutes a day. And you can have a body just like this. Same body that was in Sword Fighters at the Apocalypse. Come on, let's go for a ride. All right, thanks for joining me. But first, if you want to be strong like a lion, you gotta be limber like a gazelle. So, we're gonna have to stretch it out. Work on the core, work on the cockle region. I call this one Riding Shah Halud. Now you're gonna ride this hard, and it's gonna hurt, but you're gonna feel some strength. All right, come on, let's have some fun. But to be safe. All right, all right. So you get on this, you mount Shah Halud. First, you gotta warm it up. Ah! Oh, I got them. All right. How does that feel? Feels good, doesn't it? All right. We call this one balancing the rooster. All right, so what we got to do is we got to get our exercise balls, the small ones. Put them down here. Got to get them in tight. Okay? Then we got to get our workout. Rod. Now, this could be dangerous for a lot of you newbies. So if you need help, have a buddy help you. Okay? The fuck is this? With me? Good. All it's right. Epic Steve. This is the workout he did before <laughs> Sword Fighters of the Apocalypse. Yeah, feel that? That feels good. Oh, god damn. Oh, how are you? I'm starting to enjoy this. All right, that was a lot of fun. But difficult. Can we watch so, anything we else? The news? Something besides epic fucking sleep. Call this one, play with the yarn. Now, I learned this one actually from watching my cat at home. But... And as the fire consumed the building, Epic Steve saved over 500 kittens. Epic Steve, would you care to comment? You know, I was uh, walking down the street and I thought I smelled some barbecue or something and I uh... saw this pet store ablaze. And, uh, well, I knew I had to do something epic. Thank you, Epic Steve. Back to you, Blaze. Thank you, Lanny. But the name's Roger. Roger. Hey, Rebecca, didn't you have a story about a stray cat in a tree or something? Yes, I do. In West Virginia, a cute little kitty was caught hanging on a tree by one paw. Hang on, little kitty. You just hang on. Now back to you, Roger. In other news, terrorists attacked another high-profile target in downtown Detroit. When a local resident was asked what happened, his response was, Something was attacked? Scary stuff here, people. Scary stuff. Say one thing, with all these terrorist attacks, at least it's keeping these America Man dolls up in value. I forgot to do this. What the fuck? 
fuck is this? You didn't pay the rent. You said not to worry about it. You told me he was going to sell these dolls online. Have you listed him on Craigslist yet? Instead, I was thinking we could give some away for Christmas. Yeah, you mentioned that. Like, we could have two or four of them and give them to people we know who could, like, save $200. Yeah, we could even keep a couple for ourselves. The fuck is wrong with you two? Can we eat these dolls? We need to sell these things. We need to bring in some money. Oh, there, there is that shit. We need to move like these goddamn terrorists. We need to strike hard, strike fast. We can't be pussyfooting around. You want us to blow something up? No, what the fuck are you thinking? We just can't be going around breaking into trailers and picking up worthless shit. Well, we could rob the carpet store down on 42nd Street. I mean, the average sale has to be in the thousands. Yeah. We could even blame it on the terrorists, like a double cross. That's not what a double cross is. Besides, that's retarded. Hold on, hold on. Let's think, let's think about this. Retarded? Yeah, retarded like a fucking fox, buddy! Scary stuff, my dick hole. Epic Steve. Hey, you want to see scary? See this scar right here? You know how I got it? Climbing a 40 foot tree to rescue a bald eagle. A bald eagle. You see these burns on my hands? You see them? Under your gloves? Shut up. You know how I got them? I ran into a burning building to rescue a family of bearded dragons. See, that's the difference between you and me, okay? When I was a baby boy, no older than two years old, I knew what I was meant to be. I was meant to be a hero, okay? An American hero. Not this epic Steve bullshit. And I knew that when the military turned me down on account of my bad shins, that I'd have to fight for freedom another way. A truer way. Do you know why I harass minorities and foreigners? Do you? It's for freedom. That's right. Because there ain't going to be any attacks in my city. Not at my kid's school. Not at my church. And not at this... Not at this carpet shop. Not nowhere. Not on my watch. Do you understand that? hell are you watching? Oh, uh, hey, one more thing. Does this place do, like, free lunches for its employees, like a, like a per diem or something? I always eat at my second job. Free food there. But you need to pay for that cup of coffee. Credit only. We can dock it from your pay. Shit!
Hey, you got the black pajamas! My mom was confused why we needed these. I told her it was for a costume party, but I got this from my dad's shed. Jesus Christ, I don't need to get his gun, not a garden tool. It's a saber. Now I've been thinking, with a little change in plans, you're gonna go in, do the robbery by yourself. Jeff, you'll drive the getaway car. What are you gonna do? All right, I was just gonna do my part and spend some money on the food and drinks, but if you got the money, you can do that, that's fine. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's fine. I just never robbed someone before. Oh, it's fucking easy, man. All you gotta do is go in like there, like you're nuts or something, Babble some foreign language. I don't know, you know Swahili maybe? Hey, I got it. You take that, tell him you're gonna chop his fucking head off unless he gives you the money. Terrorists are always doing that shit. Yeah, those, those fuckers are always cutting people's heads off. You'll be like Epic Steve, going in there, rescuing the money from the terrorists. Hey, I got it. Hey, you'll be like a, a regular Epic Sean. How about it, Epic Sean? I learned this one actually from watching my cat at home. Hey. Ball yard. But it's fun workout. That's fine. I'm fine. Okay. If you could just believe in me, then we can we can do this somehow. Find a way to make everything better. Just understand. Understand. It's okay. We can't hurt you anymore. These are my kids' toys. <clears throat> One problem with that. You don't have any kids, I can tell. What? 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 You don't have any kids, I can tell. 
know, now that I mention it, a whole shipment of those were stolen recently. That's, that's a damn shame. All those little kids that'll never know the joy that America Man can bring. And believe me, I know. I have one. Really? Name's Crimson. You can play with this one. His name is Complacent Wolf. He's a sniper. Did you do that? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. I, I really appreciate it. What this is? Besides being awkward, yeah, it's a machete. Wrong! This is a sticker up! Shit. Awkward, like I said. I will blow up a hospital or a school or something! What's in this bag? Aha! Uh -huh. You were holding out on me! Dick face, there must be thousands in here! Yeah, good luck with that. Of course I'd die for you. I've never told anyone this, but I think I love you. I, I don't want you to die for me. I, I, I want to put this behind us so we can start a family. I want to, I really do. But I truly believe that all things happen for a reason. And I believe it's my God-given purpose to fight the scourge of terrorism that plagues this good nation. My money. Five, maybe ten thousand. Oh, I knew you guys would get this right. Hey, how about some shooters? Words. Would you say this was an act of terrorism? No, no. It was some some kind of pirate. He was he was he was attacking a little a little boy playing with a toy. And when I saw him doing that, I knew that I had to step in, save save that kid from that son of a son. Of a Lanny, I just got word that Epic Steve's gonna be at the orphanage. Oh, thank God. Well, let's get over there, see if he's doing anything. Wait for it. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All right, well, I hope everything works out for you. You should, you should get that looked at, okay? I don't feel so well. I 
feel lightheaded. 